Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, uh, we're going to be testing the ammo changes that happened. Um, for anyone who didn't know, on July 2nd, there were some uh, ammo changes done. Uh, not every ammo was changed, but just naming a few. BS, BT, M995, BP, M61, M62, 7N1, SNB, SP7, SP8, SP12, SP6, and SP5 got changed. That was all of them, actually. There were 13 ammo changes. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be testing. I'm not going to be testing anything they didn't change because I kind of already have done that. We've tested a lot of stuff here. So if this is your first time around here, I want to check out them other videos. You know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> but we're here with Oswaldo. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know Oswaldo, his, uh, full name is Oswaldo Rivera. He's actually an illegal iguana poacher from Peru. Um, I don't know how he ended up in Tarkov. I don't, I've never seen an iguana here. But, yeah, we're using LPS GCH ammo there, which I have not tested in any of my videos before. And it took four hits. Now, that round has 55 armor pen and 55 armor, armor damage ratio. Whatever that means, I'm not sure. But it took four shots, which, you know, it had 55 pen, and I thought that before I tested it, it would three shot or two shot, kind of like the SMB does. Um, the SMB has 62 armor pen and 62 armor damage ratio and it two shot him it kind of just bypasses the fort as if it if, it if he didn't have armor it would one tap him so it doesn't really bypass it um in my other videos i have been able to one tap through a fort with snb not sure if that's still possible i didn't really test it more than once because i just kind of figured that you know it might be possible the fragmentation chance is pretty crazy as i kind of found in this video um in my past videos i don't really show the double takes i do a lot more stuff than i show in the video just because some things are kind of boring uh the fragmentation chance to me used to only be one shot difference but i tested a lot of things twice and i was finding five to six shot differences which is a little crazy um i i don't know if they increased the chance factor there but it's something I have not seen in uh, about 200 armor tests this wipe, so yeah, I'm not sure. But using 7N1 there, that was one of the ammo types they did change, and it still took five shots, so they changed it, but it didn't really affect the Ford armor. I wonder if it could almost be more shots. Maybe I got the fragmentation chance there. I have no idea. I started doing a lot more double takes in the rifles. For instance, with the BS ammo, the first take took five shots. Um... Yeah, previously it took 9. I think it was 11 or 9. I don't know. You, you guys will have to watch my video, my last video for me. <laughs> but in this test, I forget how many it took. Otherwise, I'd spoil it for you guys. But, um... Oh, do you guys like his cowboy helmet, by the way? I had him wear one in every scene. Yeah, I think he looks really good. Okay, it took 9 hits. Which is a pretty big difference. Um... I know you guys can't 100% trust me when I say this, but I have done a lot of, like, double takes, I guess. I've probably shot Ford Armor with BS maybe six times before this update, and it was always, like, a one to two difference. I, I use BS as an example there. I've probably tested everything in any video more than once. Um, and it's always been a one-shot difference with the fragmentation. That was the most I've ever seen it. Um, I don't know if the armor damage ratio affects fragmentation chance, but I don't know. Definitely seems different, this update. Not many people are a fan of the fragmentation chance, um, myself included in that. I kind of wish it was just a somewhat similar hit. I thought before when it was a one-shot difference was fine, but kind of a four to six shot difference is uh, a little much in my opinion. Considering it's based off nothing, um, maybe if there was armored angle hits in the game, which some people think there are. There are no angled hits in the game yet. Uh, I know games like War Thunder have that. Not in Tarkov. I'm pretty sure they would have put that in the patch notes somewhere if they did add them. I've also, like, tested it, and yeah, it's the same hits, even if you're at, like, a, a 360-degree angle. <laughs> but using BT there, which kind of has replaced... BP. Um, I'm not 100% positive about the previous ammo charts, what the penetration was for BT versus BP ammo, but I think BP ammo used to have more armor pen. Um, now BT has 33 compared to BP's 32, so BT is kind of the second best ammo and BP's the third best. 
Someone correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I, th I think I'm pretty right about that. I'm pretty familiar with the ammo charts, I believe. <laughs> but we're using M995 ammo here, which is the hardest ammo in the game to get. Um, you need to get level 7 sniper, which is pretty easy to do. I'm a level 9 sniper, so all you guys complain and that's a hard quest. Get good. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but it took 10 shots there, which changes in the second take. Um, it's kind of why I'm showing you these. I, normally, I do second takes on accident. Like, sometimes Oswaldo forgets to hit the record button. We have to redo things. And it'll be like a one-shot difference. I've done a ton of double takes. I'm sorry for repeating that, but I really have. <laughs> and this is a huge gap. Um, 10 shots to 6 shots? I, I ain't never seen that before. But we're using M61 ammo, which is uh, meta AF, um, as the kids are saying these days. It two shots the Ford armor. Now, before when BS would take 11 shots every time to the Ford armor, it kind of made the M1A feel just way better. But I guess there's a chance now for BS to get five shots or six shots or whatever it is. I've kind of already forgotten. I'm sorry. I've... I've uh, been drinking a little tonight, so if this commentary is kind of all over the place, I'm kind of sorry. But using M62 ammo there, it took three shots, which uh, I guess that's good because I can't ever buy M61 ammo because it's always sold out, so I always just buy M62. So it's good to know that it's still not too big of a difference between the two. Both M61 and M62 did get some uh, changes done to their armor damage ratio. I, I don't know what that means. I'm kind of speaking Chinese whenever I say that. Um, I try to understand the ammo charts, like trying to figure out what the numbers mean, and I have no idea. But using the 7.62 BP ammo there, it took 11 hits, which is the same as uh, the previous update. This ammo actually did get touched a little. I don't know. I really wish I knew what the previous damage ratios were, but it, it just seems like it got buffed, so it got a higher number. But right there, it took 13 shots, which... Again, that's just the fragmentation chance. I don't know, I'm not too big a fan of it. But it took 13 shots, which I know a lot of people aren't too happy with. I've, I've read the comments on my videos, and you guys were, I don't know, apparently happy you stopped playing the game or something like that. I don't know. If I'm not too mad about, like, gameplay changes myself. Like, a lot of people kind of jump to conclusion, I feel, in my last video, like, crying about the ammo changes. And it's like, they have to change stuff to figure out what it does, I feel. We are the testers at the end of the day. As painful as it may be sometimes. Could you guys please fire the netcode guy already? Okay, thank you. Anyways, on to <laughs> the SP7 ammo versus the Untar. Now, this is why I don't test SP7 on anything higher than the Paca. Uh, that was 30 rounds, and he's just chilling. I have no idea. I, 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 I assume that's realism. Now, when they first added the armor damage ratio parameter to the ammo... um. I kind of thought this would fix the whole 9 by 18 taking 30 to 70 shots against armor. I don't know if the devs agree on that. I don't know what they want for armor. I do like armor doing something. But to me, hitting someone 30 times, especially with a blue armor, I don't know. It's not hard to get a blue armor. And who knows how many times it would have taken with 9 by 18. But using SP12 here, which is a hollow point ammo, um, this ammo got changed for whatever reason. But it took nine shots there to pack it. Now, if it takes nine shots to pack it, that means it's going to take, if I had to guess, 18 on blue armor. So I didn't test it on anything else. It's like, you just hit headshots, I guess, with pistols or legs. <laughs> Leg meta does not exist. But using SP6 ammo here. Now, in my last video, it took 31 shot, or th yeah, I think 31 shots with SP6. And a lot of people were kind of mad about that. Um, in previous updates, the Val has always been one of the best guns against armor. It hasn't always had the highest penetration, but because of the fire rate, it was always really good against armor. Um, it used to be six shots, and now it's at 27. Still, um, still pretty high. Now, that does change right here. Quite drastically, actually. This is the highest fragmentation chance difference that I've seen ever in my career. But, yeah, I, I think it took 20 shots. I kind of dumped a full mag because I wasn't expecting it to kill him. But looking back at the footage, it looked like the 18th or the 19th killed him. Which is pretty impressive. That was a chest shot. A bullet didn't stray off and hit him in the head or anything. 
But now using the VSS against the Gazelle armor, and for anyone who didn't know, um, the VSS and the Val, they do the same damage. Um, any gun shooting the same cartridge will do the same damage. Barrel length doesn't seem to do anything to damage. Suppressors don't do anything to damage. But yeah, I'm using the VSS because you can actually buy them now. They're 110k on the traders. They used to be trade only, but you can buy them now, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I took three shots there, and I stopped the gazelle testing there because SP5 still only has like 25 arm pen, which is not enough to go through a gazelle, so it would still probably be 10 plus shots, which, you know, that's a lot. I would just say hit headshots with the SP5. Sorry for not testing it against gazelle, but um, we're testing it against fort here, if that makes you happy. <laughs> I'm sorry for being so rude. But it took 32 hits, which is two shots more than it did last patch. I did not test this one again, by the way, because that's a little excessive. I don't know. I had to reload. <laughs> so, you know, I don't I don't know if it's less or more, but yeah. On to this part of the video. Now, we are testing the helmet right now, but included in this video is a very disgusting bug with the ballistics in Tarkov. Um... Right there, it took nine shots. That was because I was hitting the helmet, actually. Now, this is has nothing to do with the hitbox, um, what I'm about to show you. This is a bug that I actually found when I did an armor test duo stream with Clean. Um, he told me that the bullet hit him in the chest, and I was like, what the hell are you talking about? But as you can see here, his head is pointed in a way that the bullet is acting as if it's going through, and it hit his chest there, but it didn't one-shot him, if that makes any sense. Um... This bug shows up in a lot of different places, actually. Um, in one of my videos, I pointed out that the blood was showing on the wall when I was headshotting him, which makes no sense, because if there's blood coming out of his head, that means the bullet hit his head, and that means he'd die, even though it was bouncing off the armor. And it also shows up when you wallbang stuff. For instance, if you shoot the largest pine tree on woods, the you can see a bullet exit wound on the other side, even though I've tested it in a previous video with a live player, and that bullet has no damage attached to it. I don't know where else this bug shows up, and it's kind of weird that it happens on the chest because it's like it didn't hit him in the head, but for some reason it hit him in the chest. I have no idea. I don't know if the devs know about this or how long it would take to fix, but it seems like a pretty nasty one um, for anyone who's like, oh, well, how many times are you going to hit someone like that? If someone was prone and they were looking right at you, this is where you could take advantage of that. Quote, unquote, take advantage. Um, you kind of be doing it on accident. But yeah, right here, I kind of miss a couple shots. And uh, for anyone wondering, this is the last armor test before the uh, the kill montage. I was kind of missing there. But I tested BS ammo, BP, M995. They all two-tap the Alton helmet, for anyone wondering. But as you can see there, it took three shots. The first one hit the top of the helmet, so it didn't go through and hit the chest. But when I aimed lower at the face hitbox, it kind of collateraled his chest through his head. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's just a bug. Um, hopefully they fix it. And uh, to clarify that bug even more, it actually considered it as a chest kill, too. Um, one of the times it one-tapped him in the chest, and I was like, whoa, that was a crazy armor bug, but it was a chest kill on the on Oswaldo's kill screen. Yeah, I don't know. It's for sure a bug. I assume you could replicate that with a Macroff if you wanted to. If that makes sense, because it's avoiding the armor and hitting the chest. But yeah, that was... Aside from bugs, that was one of the, the smoothest 3Ks I've ever gotten. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you did not like it. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And uh, be sure to follow me on Twitch. Uh, I stream like every day, actually. The stream's almost bigger than the YouTube at this point. Thank you, guys.